is going on YouTube? My name is Nick, and welcome to another NBA 2K23 rebuild. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be taking, I am ta I should say, I am taking control of the uh, current day Orlando Magic here. Uh, they're, ha they're having a rough season. Definitely a team in full rebuild mode. Uh, let's go through their roster here. They have a nice young player here in Franz Wagner, can play the 3 and the 2. He's a guy I would like to continue to develop. We got rookie of the uh, rookie of the year, Paulo Bencaro. He's probably gonna win it. In this, in this, I'm gonna have him win it uh, and change the rookie teams. I didn't for the last video. I should have. I apologize. I will change the rookie teams because there's a start today glitch, and I'll show you guys. It just doesn't show like rookie stats at all in start today, and I think that's why like that's why the 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 rookie teams are screwed up because there's no stats for rookies. Markel Fultz has really turned his career around. He has resurrected his career here in Orlando. Uh, he was looking like a draft bust in Philly. It was not very good. But yeah, he's turned his career around here a bit in Orlando. Three-point percentage is not great. I would like him to continue to improve there. Otherwise, I don't see him in our long-term plans if he can't shoot above, like, if he can't shoot above 33% from three, I don't see him in our long-term plans. Wendell Carter Jr., uh, yeah, he's a guy I like on this team. Definitely want to keep him around, uh, if he, unless we can find someone better at the four. Um, Cole Anthony, he's, he's, a, he's a nice piece on this team. Let's see if we can bring him back. Uh, there's, here, there's, uh, Franz Wagner's brother, Mo Wagner. They also have Bull Pull. I'm not sure what to do with him yet. I mean, he's an interesting player, that's for sure. He's, he's shooting the ball well this year, so maybe we look to give him another contract. Uh, Jonathan Isaac. He's out for the season. It said he's, he says he's out one to two weeks with a hamstring injury, but I'm not going to have him play for the rest of the season. Uh, his efficiency is just so bad. I mean, he missed two straight, or he missed two seasons, and yeah, he's just been really injury prone. Don't know if I want him back. I mean, probably just going to let him walk. Jalen Suggs has not panned out so far for us. Could give him, I'll probably give him another shot, though. Gary Harris has been a nice piece for us. I would look to bring him back. Uh, he's a really good defender. He can shoot the threes. 43% from the three this year. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to I'm gonna try to extend him if we can. Uh, there's Goga Batatse. They brought in for depth. They've got Chumo Kiki, Caleb Houston, MCW, Admiral Schofield, and Kavon Harris round up this roster. Uh, this is what I'm rolling with for the rotation for the rest of the season, barring injuries. Uh, it's, yeah, it's going to change, but this is what I'm rolling with for now. Uh, Markel Fultz getting 31 minutes, Gary Harris 23, uh, 30 for Franz Wagner, uh, 30 for Paulo Bencaro, and 30 for Wendell Carter Jr. That's our starting five. Cole Anthony, our sixth man, getting 25. Had to give him some more minutes. He deserves them. Jalen Suggs, I gave him a few more minutes. He's going to get 20, seeing if he can improve here for the rest of the season. Uh, Mo Wagner, 16 minutes. 13 minutes for Bull Bull, and then just 10 for Okiki and Houston to round it out. So we're running an 11-man rotation. Uh, Jonathan Isaac is not going to play for the rest of the season, so if he comes back, I'm not putting him in the rotation. If the CPU does, fine, but, or yeah, I'm just not putting him in the rotation. I'll, yeah, I'll just adjust it if there's, if, if it says he comes back. But yeah, that's what we're rolling with. Uh, our system proficiency under Jamal Mosley is 3.5 star balance. I don't see anything better, so we're going to roll with that. Uh, this team is 28-41 and 41 here on March 15th. They lost last night to the Spurs in real life on... Or they, or I should say, yeah, they lost to the Spurs in real life on Monday, March 14th. Or not Monday, Tuesday. They lost on Tuesday to the Spurs. They got a tough game, road game against the Suns coming up. Yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. The Magic finish out the 2022-2023 season with a 32 and 50 record. I'll have to check to see where that puts where that put them in the standings. Jokic won MVP with a crazy triple double. Uh, rookie teams, I will have to fix. So let me fix that real quick. Or a rookie of the year. I'm giving Paulo Bancaro Rookie of the Year here. 20 points, 7.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.8 blocks, 54 from the field, 
almost 55, 77 from the line, and 37 and a half of three. Very impressive stuff there. Malcolm Brogdon won sixth man of the year, so he got it over. Um, uh, he got it over Jalen Brunson this time. It's either Brogdon or Brunson and start today that wins it. Giannis won Defensive Player of the Year. Jalen Brunson won Most Improved. All right, so he got Most Improved instead of uh, instead of Sixth Man of the Year. He'll take that. Joe Mazzula of the Celtics won Coach of the Year. Guessing there's not going to be any magic on all NBA teams. There is not. All defensive first team, no. And then all defensive second team. Nope, we don't get anybody. Brooke Lopez made all defensive second team. Let's go. He ended up with uh, two and a half blocks per game. Nice. I just wanted to look at that. And then I will fix these rookie teams. All right, here's our all rookie teams uh, after fixing them. Paulo Ben Carroll uh, makes it for us. Jaden, the rookie of the year. Jaden Ivey is the Jaden Ivey's on here. Keegan Murray, Mark Williams of the Hornets, and Walker Kessler round out all rookie first team, and then all rookie second team. This was tough. I did leave a few guys out, like Benedict Matherin, but Shannon Sharp, O'Shea Abaji, Jalen Duran, Tari Eason, and Jalen Williams are on all rookie second team. I did leave off Paul. Um, what's his name? Jabari Smith. I know. Put Tari Eason on it over him. So yeah, that wraps up the rookie teams. Here is the playoffs. We don't make it, of course, because our team was bad. Um, OKC made the play-in. What? Dallas and Phoenix are in there. Interesting. Brooklyn's in the play-in. It's Toronto, Chicago. Uh, I'm going to look at the stats before we uh, send the playoffs. We were the third worst team in the East. The Pistons and Hornets were worse than us. We finished below the Pacers. All right. We did a negative... Three and a half or three point four point differential. It's pretty bad. Let's see. The worst team in the league was yeah the Pistons. We're worse than the Rockets. Interesting. And our player stats here. Van Caro led us in scoring. We saw his stats. There they are once again. Uh, Markel Fultz was our second leading scorer. Fourteen point eight points per game. Uh, shot thirty from three. Fifty three from the field. Uh, there's Cole Anthony. He had a solid season. I would like to re-sign him if we can, if we don't get outbid. There's Franz Wagner. He shot 38 from three. Wendell Carter Jr. He actually shot 32 from three. That's really solid. Uh, there is Bo Wagner. Uh, there's Mo Wagner, Jalen Suggs. I'll give him another chance. Uh, Bull Bull, Gary Harris. What did he shoot from three? 43. Yeah, we're definitely bringing him back if we can. Uh, and then there's the rest of our guys here. Let's sim the play in the playoffs. Uh, rematch of last year's finals here. Warriors, Celtics. Haven't seen that really in, in the sim. Uh, it's tied to a piece. Celtics go up 3-2. Warriors for facing force a game 7. But the Celtics do come out on top in game 7. Jason Tatum sets the Celtics playoff record with 56 points in game 7. As the Celtics take it, Tatum's finals MVP. The Celtics won 131-128 to 128 in that Game 7. Um, Tatum averaged 38 points in 42 minutes in those games. Shot the ball very well. Holy crap. Moving to the offseason here, where we got some work to do for this Magic team. I have some rule changes for this year. Uh, the, the CPU had the trade deadline occurring a week sooner. I'm going to have that approve. Uh, then we have uh, the draft lottery change. The worst four teams have identical odds of obtaining a top three pick. I'm encouraging tanking again, but at least it's fair for the top four teams. It's still a crapshoot because of the lottery system. And then the CPU also had this one. Top four or top teams across the league are seated based on co seated based on record and not respect of conference. I do really like that, so I'll approve that. Uh, and then I'm going to approve players are eligible for the draft once they reach 18. Draft lottery here. We have the fifth projected pick in this draft. 10.4% odds. Identical with the Pacers. The Nets have a couple of uh, lottery picks here in this draft. Uh, I'm going to watch it and I'll be with you guys once it's the fifth projected pick or we fall. Alright, wait. Do we move up? Yeah, we just moved We just moved up into the top four. The Rockets are pick five. 
Let's see if we get pick four or we move into the top three. We are projected at four. I'd be pretty happy to move up a spot. Oh, we move up at least two spots. The Blazers are at four. Wow. I think this has been a lucky lottery for us so far. Can it be even luckier? We are going to move up to the top two. The Pistons are three. Wow. So we still we have a good chance here to get the number one pick. Do we get it? We get pick two. All right. I will take that. We get pick two. It looks like the Pacers are going to get Wen Benyama. We're probably going to get Scoot Henderson or a good shooting. I don't know if I want to take Scoot. Maybe we move down unless there's a really good shooting guard. I might want to move down. We'll see. Uh, I'll look at the mocks and see, see who's a good shooting guard. Let's see. We get Randy Martin and we get James Graham. All right. I will take that. And then we just need a CFO for the next year, yeah. And we'll stick with it and we'll go. We'll have, we'll do it for our coaching staff. Uh, and I noticed too on the bottom before, we also have pick 15 in this draft. Uh, which is nice from the Bulls. Uh, I think it's from the Vucevic, Wendell Carter Jr. trade. And then we have a second round pick as well this year. Pick six in the second round. So we got three first round picks. Very nice. All right, I'm going to try to actually trade down in this draft because I'm not going to be taking Scoot. I want to take Cason Wallace, and he's projected to go four. So I'm going to give the Orlando Magic pick, or, or I should say I'm the Orlando Magic. I'm going to give the Portland Trailblazers pick two for pick four and this uh, Knicks pick at 23. Will they take that? Mm. They have a counter offer. They want a 2024 top ten protected first. 2025 second and Jabari Walker. Okay. Um, who they? Who's a rookie? Um, sure. We'll do this. All right, Portland. Let's see what Portland takes with our pick. Uh, yeah, they take Scooter Henderson. I'm gonna have to fix that. It's Scoot Henderson of the G League. Yeah, this draft. I I don't think we're using this draft class again. I mean, I just wanted to try something different. We're using Coin Lettuce's draft class. What, Markkanen? The, the Jazz are trading Markkanen. No, I don't think so. Uh, Chris Livingston goes to the Pistons. They wanted to trade. No, 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 no. Not doing that. Chris Livingston at three. So we're going to get Kaysen Wallace at four. He's going to be our guy. Is he the top available guy? Uh, no, I'm not trading this pick. Oh, Nick Smith is also here, which I've taken him before. Amen and Asur Thompson are here. They're not rated that high. We're going to take Kaysen Wallace here with our pick at four. Uh, at rookie signings here, we had four draft picks. Kaysen Wallace was the fourth pick. He's a 75. Looks like looks like he's, or he has nine badges. Looks like he's going to be a good player. Let's develop for us. Uh, we, took, we got Brandon Miller at pick 15. He's a 73 overall out of Alabama. Number one seed Alabama in the tournament. He was lucky to skirt legal trouble recently. Hopefully everything's good there. Uh, Chris Murray, 79 overall shooter. We took in with pick 23, that next pick. And then we get got Kyle Filipowski with the, in the second round. I will sign him as well. Oh, we have too many players, so I'm going to have to renounce the rights. Or er, I'm going to have to release a player on the team. Uh, let's release Michael Carter-Williams. Okay. I'm also going to release Admiral Schofield, too, because we'll need roster space. All right, so now we can sign Kyle Filipowski. Team player options. Here I'm going to pick it up on Franz, Cole, Bull Bull, yeah, and then Suggs, yes. Jonathan Isaac, I'm going to decline on. Qualifying offers, we don't have any. And then for free agency, Kyrie, James Harden, Brooke Lopez, Vucevic, and Vucevic, and D'Angelo Russell, and Fred Van Fleet highlight this free agency class. There's a lot of good players here. We already have 14 players on the team. The only guy I really want to sign is Gary Harris. Uh, yeah, the only guy I really want to sign is Gary Harris here, and we can get him for like $3 million. Yeah, I'll sign him. I'll sign him on this this deal right here. We'll get Gary Harris. Get Gary Harris. 
I'm going to renounce the rights on Mo Wagner, Schofield, Michael Carter, Williams, Skoga, Jonathan Isaac, and Kavon Harris. I'm going to be making this trade with the Spurs because we do need a backup center. Uh, Chuma Okiki for Ken Birch. We're bringing him back to Orlando. Let's see, for seeing more players sign in free agency, Kyrie does come stay with the Mad Mavericks after being traded there. So does Harden. Brooke Lopez signs an extension with the Bucks. D'Lo goes to the Jazz. Interesting. So he doesn't stay with the Lakers. Miles Bridges to the Rockets. Kuzma to the Thunder. Christian Wood goes back to Detroit. He had previously played there. Yeah, he played for the Pistons in 2019-2020. Interesting. Dinwiddie to the Spurs. Jakob Pertl resigns. Pacer, the Pacers sign Kelly Olynyk. Seth Curry goes to the Bulls. D Rose to the Hornets. At player progression here, Paulo Bancaro is an 85. We have Wagner at an 84. Fultz at 81. Carter Jr. 81. And Anthony is up to an 80. Nice. And I see some more green down here. Rook, our rookies are developing. Jalen Suggs actually is up to a 77. Jason Wallace up to a 77 as well. Gary Harris's regress or his inside went down for some reason. Inside scoring. More green down here. Like to see that. This is this is a young team. All right, quick change here that I made. Uh, I changed uh, S Scooter Henderson's name to Sterling. That's actually like Scoot Henderson's real name, and it said he was for, went to Northern Iowa before. I changed it to Georgia because he's originally from Georgia, and G League wasn't an option, so I just made him from Georgia. I'm setting an untapped potential to Kaysen Wallace. He stays at a B plus, and then I'm going to set another untapped potential to Brandon Miller as well. He goes up to a B plus, very nice. And then I'm gonna set, and then we don't have free throw this year, which sucks. Here's our rotation to start the season. Mark Helfoltz getting 33 minutes. Going to give Jalen Suggs the starting shooting guard job for now. If he struggles, Gary Harris will go in, or someone else. Uh, Friends Wagner getting 36. 37 to Ben Carroll, 32 Carter Jr. Bench of Colt Anthony. Uh, Bull Bull, Kaysen Wallace, and Brandon Miller. Gary Harris is not going to play for the time being. System proficiency, I'm going to probably keep it balanced. Seven seconds is also three and a half, but I'll keep it at balanced. Uh, do I want to do a score? I think I do want to do a scoring option. I think we'll do Ben Caro as our number one option for scoring. Yeah, we'll set it to follow Ben Caro as our number one scoring option. Ready to roll for the season. As, as the season just started, Brandon Miller got hurt. He broke his right forearm, so I will adjust this rotation. Oh, Brandon Miller is back, so yeah, I'm going to put him back in for Gary Harris. He's going to get those 10 minutes, so I'm trying to develop him. Oh, Markel Fultz has a right arm hairline fracture, so that means Cole Anthony is going to start now. After that Fultz injury, I have decided to start. Cole, or I'm start, decided to start Cole Anthony. So the rest of our starting five is going to look. Bull Bulls, our sixth man, Brandon Miller is getting some more minutes. Gary Harris and Chris Murray are going to play. So Chris Murray is going to make his Magic debut. See, I'll see what uh, Murray can provide for us, and those other, and Harris, and as well as Anthony starting. All right, looking around here for Clint Capella trades because I was offered Clint Capella uh, prior to this trade deadline, uh, but we're at the deadline now. Looking around, these are our offers: Chris Murray and Caleb Houston for Clint Capella and Trent Forrest. It's kind of a robbery. I'm not gonna be doing that unless I give up a first round pick. I mean, we could do, we could do that. Uh, I like this Fultz and Caleb Houston for Capella and Fernando. I think this is one we're gonna do. I mean, we have a lot of guard depth, and like Fultz isn't shooting that well from three. 
And it makes sense, I think, for the Hawks to do this. Not going to do Franz. Not going to include Franz in this deal. Not Ben Carroll. And I could trade Carter Jr., but he's been solid. I mean, we could just have him come off the bench for us. I'd be all right with that. So I think we're going to do the second offer. Markel Fultz and Caleb Houston for Clint Capella and Bruno Fernando. That's going to probably be our one and only deal at the deadline. I'm going to sim to this... Uh, Sim to the All Star draft or the All Star draft here, and see if we have any All Stars. Oh, we do have to adjust the rotation. Here's our rotation after the trade here: 37 to Anthony, 34 to Suggs. He's gonna start now over Case and Wallace. 37 to Wagner, 37 to Bancaro, and 36 to Capella. Actually, I don't want to give 37 to Anthony. Let's go 30, 33 to Cole Anthony. Or 35, actually. 35. Uh, and then I have two minutes left. I'll give them to Wendell Carter Jr. He'll get 20. 17 to Kaysen Wallace. 13 to Bull Bull. And then 11 to Brandon Miller. They wanted me to play Fernando. I'm not going to play him. Gary Harris, Ken Birch, Chris, uh, Chris Murray. These guys, those guys aren't going to play. If we have injuries, they will. Uh, I'm going to see if we have any All-Stars here. And then I'll continue with the season. Nope, no All-Stars. Vucevic. Vucevic made it? Jeez, okay. Okay, Vooch. Alright, let's send to the end of the season. The Magic finish out season number two with a 36 and 46 record. This time the Luka has a triple-double and wins MVP. Matthew Cleveland, Rookie of the Year for the Charlotte Hornets. Those are solid numbers. Uh, ben Simmons, Sixth Man of the Year in Brooklyn. Giannis Depoy once again. Garland most improved. Very good numbers there. Wow. Okay, Garland breaking out in the 23-24 season. Wow. Uh, Joe Masula once again, coach of the year for the Celtics. They won 66 games this year. Uh, I'm not going to get anybody on all NBA teams, I'm sure. No, we don't. LeBron makes all NBA second team at age 39. Wow. Uh, Anthony Edwards is on here. Interesting. And Cat. Wow. That's crazy, man. Vucevic is on the Nets now. I didn't even realize that. Uh, nobody on all defensive teams either. And then all rookie teams. We don't get anyone here. Nope, nobody. Nobody at all on the rookie teams. And they have the, the playoff seedings are different this year. It's 1 through 16. Oh, yeah, so now you have, like, teams in the Eastern Conference playing in the playoffs. That's interesting. The Pistons are playing the Celtics. That's very interesting. Uh, yeah, we don't make the playoffs. Let's see where we finish in the standings. In the Eastern Conference, we were... We're just kind of sort of middle of the pack, it looks like. We still have a negative point differential. Defense is not very good. Man, this defense is, our defense is not good. Yeah, Celtics were the best team in the league. The Grizzlies won 64 games, and the Cavs won 62. And three teams win 60-plus games. That's crazy. Let's simulate these playoffs here. So Lakers Grizzlies finals, you wouldn't see that if it weren't for how this playoff seating is set up. It's just based on record, not conference. Grizzlies are up three games to two, and the Grizzlies beat the Lakers in the finals. Ja Morant wins Finals MVP. Hopefully he's get hopefully he's getting things sorted out right now with his counseling. On to season number two off season, and the Trailblazers have our pick because we made that trade last year. They're probably going to get it, unless it had a protection on it. Yeah, the Blazers got our pick at 11. We do not have, yeah, we don't have a first round pick. I'm going to fire Jamal Mosley. We're just, we're going to clean house here, except for our head scout. We'll keep him. Trainer, Sean Navarro, I'm going to pay him a bag. We need to get Sean Navarro. All right, Sean Navarro, and then we need a new head coach. Uh, maybe Steven Silas, Billy Donovan, like Brown, or Dagnow is here. Maybe we'll give him a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hire. I'm gonna try to hire Mike De Mark Dagnow, but three year deal. We can lower. Let's lower this money a little bit. Like 
three and a half million. Let's try to hire Mark Tegnell. He's a pace and space guy. So are there any, are there any pace and space assistant coaches out here? Let's see. There's a balance. I mean, we could, Johnny Bryant isn't great defensively. There's Lionel Hollins. Uh, what was Mark Dagano defensively? He's a B. Okay. Yeah, is there any pace and space assistant coaches? Otherwise, you just get someone with a I don't really want to get someone with a different system. I'll try to hire Dana Falk. And we get Navarro and Folk. Dagonal is tentative. Dagonal is still tentative. He rejects. Ah, okay, we gotta find another head coach. You know, I'm just gonna hire Jacob Underwood for our head coach. I could hire could have hired Will Hardy, but we had him last video. Assistant GM, there's really like nobody here. I'll just hire this Willis guy on a a one year deal. And then CFO. Caleb Rogers on a one-year deal. And we sign Underwood, Rogers, and Willis. Uh, we had two second-round picks in this draft. I took Dante Finley with pick 11 in the second round. I'll sign him. And then Chance Westry with pick 22. He's a two-way combo guard. We'll sign him as well. Maybe they can develop. If not, just not going to be part of our team. I'll pick it up on Van Caro, Wagner, Suggs, and Filipowski. Fernando and Walker, I'm going to let go. I mean, I could. I mean, Walker didn't play. He doesn't want to be here. So, yeah, we'll let them walk. I'll just pick it up on these four guys. Qualifying offer is definitely going to extend it to Cole Anthony. I want him back on this team for sure. I still would like a third point guard. So I'm just going to monitor Bull Bull. He's expected 14 mil. All right. Bull Bull. We're not going to decline on that. But the rest of these guys, I'm, gonna de I'm declining on Walker, Birch, and Fernando. He wants 13. I mean, I'll, I'll, he's not even interested. All right. We're not getting Bull Bull then. You know, I'm going to offer. Oh, that's such a good deal. Can we get bird rights on this? All right. I'm going to offer Vanderbilt. And I'm going to offer Denny of Zeha. Let's see which one we get. Oh, Denny wants more money. Uh, actually, let's not. Uh, I'll offer somebody else as a backup. Like, oh, wait. Bull Bull is still not interested right now. Isaiah Stewart, not a good defender. Obi Toppin or JRE. I'll offer Obi Toppin as a backup. If we don't, okay. If we don't get Vanderbilt, I'll try Toppin. We get Toppin. All right. Oh, and I got Jared Vanderbilt. We got Jared Vanderbilt and um, Obi Toppin. You know what? All right, yeah, I have some roster decisions to make, but we're at player progression here. Ben Carroll up to an 87. 86 for Wagner. Capella's up. Randall Carter Jr. is 81. Wallace. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. He's up to an 81. Suggs, 80. Filipowski, 78. Obi Toppin. Up to a 78. He might be a trade candidate, or we keep him on this team, we'll say. TJ McConnell's regressing. I will go to training camps. We didn't get Cole Anthony back. Yeah, I'll load a draft class for 25. Why not? I think what's his name has a class. Um, yeah, Jack Move has a 2025 class. I'm gonna set big man defense to Clint Capella. And then I'm going to set untap potential. Or should I set defense to somebody else? Um, I'm going to set perimeter defense to one of our guards. Maybe Kaysen Wallace. Um, he's already at A+. Plus. I'm going to set it to Paulo Bancaro. And then we'll set free throw to our team. 
And I did not get Cole Anthony back because we, we signed Obi Toppin. Which I that was kind of that was a mistake to do that. Can I send? Can I send the guy to the G League now? Um, Dante Finley. No, I can't. I think we're gonna have to release the guys we just drafted. Yeah, let's just re let's release them. guys we have in the roster we have 15 all right I just released Dante Finley Cole Anthony is still a free agent I could sign him if we had money uh, might have to trade somebody all right I'm gonna be trading Wendell Carter jr. to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Karis LeVert and a 2029 first round pick uh, and then I'm gonna be releasing Karis LeVert I want to get Cole Anthony back he's still a free agent so I'm going to try to get him back. So let's let's release Karis LeVert. He's going to be on the open market. So we're basically we're buying him out at the beginning of the season. And hopefully, hopefully somebody signs him. Or we could just sign him to a team that has cap. I might do that. Um, okay. And then does that free up enough cap space for me to sign Cole Anthony? Let me see. Does not. Dang it. Um, yeah, let's just go with, I'm just going to go with 14 players. All right. I kind of messed up this rebuild. Just, I'm just going to go with this rotation, 2K's rotation for now. Kaysen Wallace, 30. 30 to Suggs. 38 to Wagner. 38 to Van Caro. And Capella. Bench of Vanderbilt. Toppin. Filipowski. Miller. And Miller. I think I'm going to try to package, like, McConnell and Toppin at the um if I might try to package them to get something we'll see Cole Anthony I'm gonna monitor if he gets signed I'll show you guys yeah he's still here and we can't sign him which is annoying he wants 18 we can't, we can't not afford this dude Ugh, it's frustrating and then our system proficiency under Jacob Underwood is three and a half stars I'll probably stick with that yeah, I'll stick with that, and I'm going to send him to December f December 15th and see if we can... Or send him to December 15th and then see if we can... Uh, uh, send to, yeah, I'm going to send him to December 15th and see if we can make a trade. Possibly get Cole Anthony. I don't know. He might already be signed at this time. And we already have Karis, we have Karis LeVert on the books. So that could hurt. I don't think he's going to get signed, which sucks. Oh, Jared Vanderbilt is out with a high ankle sprain, six to eight weeks. That sucks. Uh, looks like Cole Anthony signed with the Lakers. He's having a really good season for them. Dang. All right, so we're not getting him. What was his contract looking like? He signed for the minimum. Bro, we can't trade for him right now. I'm going to try to get him in the offseason. I'll try to get him back. Dang it, man. That sucks. How? Oh, that's ridiculous, man. So I'll try to get him. Or we try to get him at the deadline because it said, yeah, when I tried to trade finder for him, we can't for 36 days. So I'll try to get him at the deadline, otherwise in the off season. Yeah, I'm just going to sign Karis LeVert back, and he's going to be an expire. We can use him in the trade. I know I, I know, I released him, but I'm just bringing him back. I'm going to be doing this trade with the Nets, and I'm probably going to be doing another trade for... For a center, Clint Capella and a 2025 first for, for, for Mikhail Bridges to improve our defense. I'm probably going to play him at the two. Yeah, we need help defensively. Bridges gives us that. And they need a center. They have Ben Simmons. So, I mean, he's good in 2K. But they do need a backup center. They also have Jackson Hayes. Yeah, we'll do this. Why not? And then I'm going to need to make a trade for a center. Okay, I'm going to be doing this trade with the Clippers. OB Toppin and TJ McConnell for Avika Zubats and Mark Mitchell. who will help out our center depth. I still can't trade Karis LeVert, so I'm probably just going to have to work out a LeVert deal in the offseason. Okay. Here's what our rotation is looking like after the Bridges and Zubats uh, acquisitions. 29 to Kaysen Wallace. 37 to Mikhail Bridges. 38 to, to Franz Wagner. Uh, 38 to Malaban Carroll, 33 to Zubats, 23 to Suggs, 
16 to Jared Vanderbilt, 15 to Kyle Filipowski, and then 11 to Levert. Miller will come in if there's injuries. Same with Chris Murray and Gary Harris. I mean, let's see what we can do. I mean, I don't think we can... I think I'm giving up on getting Cole Anthony at this point. I mean, we could try to get him, but I don't think we're going to be able to get Cole Anthony back. That's all right. I'm going to try to work out a Karis Levert trade in the offseason. We just acquired Bridges. We're not going to trade him back or trade him right away. Oh, Bancaro broke his leg, so I'll have to adjust the rotation. Karis Levert has a severe right ankle sprain. That sucks. I want to trade the dude. And now he's hurt. Oh, makes it challenging. So I'm, I'm okay with the rest of this roster other than Karis Levert. I don't really want him on this team. I just don't think he fits. He's not getting that many minutes anyways. It's all right. Let's just get to the end of the season. We're, we're at 500. We're above 500. Not bad. Ben Caro is fully healed. That's good. Yeah, I'm really, I'm not liking this team. I'm, I mean, I like, I like our, I like our three with, our three guys with Bridges, Van Caro, Wagner, but the rest of the team is iffy right now. This team's kind of iffy. We have Zubats kind of just be a filler center for now. As we finish the season 42 and 40, not too bad. Tatum won MVP. Interesting. 36 points, 10.4 rebounds, 5 assists, over a steal and a half, a block a game. Great shooting splits. Mackenzie McBucko, Rookie of the Year for the Thunder. Uh, Markel Fultz won Sixth Man of the Year in Atlanta. Okay, so he stayed in Atlanta, it looks like. Or he re-signed with them. Let's see. Um, yeah, he signed a, he's got a nice contract there over in Atlanta. Yeah, it looks like he re-signed with them. That's good to see. He's having... He's, having, he's got some... Having, having a very good season over there. Uh, Giannis, Steve Poy again, LaMelo Ball most approved, and then Joe Masulo, Coach of the Year once again. Nobody on these teams. I'm not even going to show this. All defensive. Kaysen Wallace makes all defensive first team. Wow, okay. We don't get anybody on all NBA teams, but Kaysen Wallace is an all defensive player. All right. 40 from the field, 37 from three. 1.7 steals a game, 1.7 blocks. Wow. Shot the ball. Shot the ball fine. He averaged 12 points, 6 rebounds. 6.6 rebounds, 5.6 assists. Yeah, I'll take that. We got an all-defensive player. Uh, Mikhail Bridges doesn't make it on here now. Ben Simmons is an all-defensive player for the Nets. Oh, gee, yeah, nobody saw with the Bulls. That's a good signing for them. I don't think we're going to get anybody on all rookie teams. We do not. Uh, do we make the playoffs? Yes, we're the 15th best team. So we were the second to last team in. We're going to take on the Celtics. Wow, oh, okay. Interesting. I wish you could check, like, overall, like, league standings. But it's just conference standings. Uh, oh, we could... Sh yeah, it's just conference standings. I mean, there are, like, a lot of teams around us. I mean, no, we snuck in the playoffs, that's for sure. Uh, the Warriors, what was the Warriors record? They were 42-40 and 40 as well, okay. So we had the tiebreaker on the Warriors. They also had a negative point differential, and they made the playoffs. We had a positive point differential, okay. We improved our defense. That's good to see. Uh, if we look at our player stats here, Paulo Bancaro continuing to improve. Averaging 25.6 points a game, 8.6 rebounds. Uh, shot the ball fine for us this year. Franz Wagner is now our second option. He had a good season. Uh, there's Jalen Suggs. I think he's going to be a. He might be a trade candidate. Uh, we'll see. Otherwise, we could keep him around. I mean, uh, yeah, he's on an expiring deal. I'll probably, if we could resign him, we'll see. Or, I mean, I'm, we could resign him, but maybe just let him go. I mean, he's... Yeah. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind bringing Suggs back, honestly. Nah, he is very loyal. He had a good season, just didn't shoot the ball great. I mean, maybe I just got to mess with his tendencies. I'll probably try to resign him 
because we're not really going to get any B players in free agency. Uh, Bridges finished off the season strong. Definitely going to be keeping him around. Uh, Zubat's averaging a double-double for us. Good to see. Uh, Casey Wallace, we saw his numbers. Filipowski, 42 from a 3. That's very good. Okay, this guy we can keep off our bench. Karis LeVert is still hurt. I mean, he was a fine player for us. Maybe I don't need to trade him. I mean, we'll keep him. I mean, if he's... Uh, I'm going to have to... Pro I mean, he's on a one-year deal. Yeah. We could we could bring him back. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with LeVert. Brandon Miller was okay in limited minutes. I mean, he's still young. Jared Vanderbilt stud defensively. 1.1 1. 1, 1 steals a game. Didn't shoot the ball too well, but I don't need him to do that. Chris Murray in limited minutes shot it well. Uh, and then there's everybody else. Lots, some guys didn't play. So we're taking on Boston in round one. We still have Brogdon. They have him starting now. Derek White at the two. Tatum Horford at the four. They have Andre Drummond. What the heck? I mean, he's a good rebounder still at age 31. Marcus Smart is coming off the bench. They have Oubre, Lonnie Walker, Thomas Bryant. Is he playing it all for them? Uh, 17 minutes. Okay. Sam Hauser, J.D. Davidson, Mike Muscala. Robert Williams, who I think is probably hurt right now. Yeah, he has a dislocated left patella. So he is hurt. Uh, they have Frank Capazzo and this other dude. Angelus Cabola. Alright, let's just simulate the round and pray that we don't get swept. We won game one. Paulo Bancaro twists his right ankle. I did not even adjusting the rotation. We're up 2-0. We're up 3-0. Are we get, we're going to sweep the Celtics? What is going on with this rotation? Jeez. Or, I mean, not with this rotation, with that with with these playoffs. We swept the Celtics? How? All right, we're going to adjust the rotation here. 43 minutes. I don't want to play them 43 minutes. Let's go 40 to Bancaro, Wagner, Bridges. Case and Wallace, I'm going to go 36 to... Uh, 28 to Zubats is fine. 21 to Suggs. 15 to Vanderbilt. 11 to Filipowski. And... Um... Yeah, I'm just going to give those... Actually, I'm going to take uh, Chris Murray out of the rotation. We're just going to give... We're just going to give Filipowski 15. We'll go a few more to... We'll go 20 to Vanderbilt, and then we'll go 23 to Suggs. So we actually swept the Celtics. I don't know how. Game 1 was pretty close. They had a balanced scoring effort. Oh, Franz Wagner dropped 40. Wow, okay. Seven threes. Paula Bencaro had 28, 5, and 4. 12 for 22. 12 for 22 for the field. Game 2, we blow them out. 117 to 88. 35, 12, and 6 for, ben for Bencaro. Jeez, Subots with 19, uh, 19 and 14. Nice double-double. We squeak out a, a two-point victory in Game 3. Tatum drops 25. Bancaro drops 43. Nine rebounds, five assists. Bridges with a good game. And then Game 4, Bancaro and Wagner each at 30-plus. As we blow them out again, 130-105. to 105. Jeez, So who are we taking on in Round 2? It's probably going to be the Lakers, or is it going to be the Rockets? Let's see. Lakers or Rockets... Yeah, it's the Lakers. The Cole Anthony Revenge Series. Oh, yeah, I would love to get revenge on Cole Anthony, who's been balling out in the playoffs. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely balling out. They have Emmanuel Quickly now. Uh, did they sign him? They signed Quickly. He's been playing really well for them. They brought Kuzma back once, and he's been insane for them. They have Javante Green. Uh, Anthony Davis, Io DeSumo, Bruce Brown, Dante DiVincenzo. Still got Max Christie. They signed, or they drafted Jerese Walker. Uh, Dwight Powell. And some other guys here. Des Boy, they had Desmond Bain on their team? He must be hurt. Uh, Desmond Bain has a ruptured left Achilles. Oof, that sucks. And he was having a great season for them. So they're starting they're starting quickly in this place, it looks like. Alright, Lakers series. It would be nice to win this, but I don't expect to. Lakers win game one. 
Oh, Kaysen Wallace has a bruised right shoulder. He's going to play through it. It's tied one apiece. Karis Levert is fully healed. I'm going to leave the rotation as is. We're up two games to one. We're up three to one. Three to two. The Lakers are down. Are they going to force a game seven on us? They are. And we lose in seven. They come back and beat us. Um, so wait. We were up 2-1, right? It was one. Yeah, they squeaked a close victory in game one. Uh, yeah, it was. We were up 2-1. We were up three. We blow a three to one lead. Oh, it sucks. So, uh, let's go back to game one here. It was a close one, but the Lakers squeaked it out. 37 and 16 for Anthony Davis. Uh, 21 for Ben Carroll. Game it two. We won 113-101. Ben Carroll, 33 and 12. Wagner and Suggs each with 16. Game three, we blow them out, 115-89. AD with a 20 and 20 game. Wow. Uh, ben Carroll, a triple double. Sheesh. Uh, Wagner, a nice game, shooting the ball. Game four, 139-111. Ben Carroll dropped 43. Uh, and then game five, quickly led them with 24. We got blown out. Uh, Wagner, Wagner led us with 19. Game 6, we only scored 72 points. Whoa, that's not good. 107-72, they beat us. AD and Kuzma with 20 apiece. Uh, we only had... We only had... We only had two guys that scored well in Zubats and Ben Caro. We shot 36 from the field, 19 from 3. That's awful. And then we have another poor shooting game as we lose 98-87. to 87. Only 39 from the field and 34 from 3 in Game 7. Yeah, we didn't deserve to win that series. But it was nice to get playoff experience in Year 3. Uh, sadly, we don't get revenge on Cole Anthony. The Hawks are in the finals. They swept the Lakers. They did the Lord's work for us. Thank you, uh, Hawks. But they're going to lose to the Cavs in the finals. Darius Garland is finals MVP. Uh, let's... Let's go to the off season here. Oh, do we have our first round pick this year? I think we traded it. Oh, yeah, the Nets have it. We traded it for Mikhail Bridges. They have it at 15. No harm, no foul in trading that. The Nets also have pick two. Wow. Okay, Nets. Staff signings. I'll do these really quick. We get Hendricks and Hamilton rejects. So we'll get Rogers for one year. Caleb Rogers. He signs. And I'm trading this Denver pick, 23rd pick in the first round that I didn't know I had. And then a, a second round pick for uh, this 2028 first round pick. I'm not going to take the 29. We'll trade it for a future first. I'm not going to rob you, Chicago. And the Bulls will take Leon McKinley with our pick. And I'll probably I'll make this second round pick. Or we could trade it. Uh, I drafted Prince, Preston Hines out of Northern Iowa. We'll sign him to fill roster space. Team player options. Going to pick it up on Ben Carroll, Wallace, Murray, Miller. Uh, Chance Westery will let go. Qualifying offers. Wagner, Suggs, and Filipowski. Pick it up on all those guys. And honestly, probably nothing I want to do in a free agency. Suggs, we're not renouncing the rights on. Gary Harris, I'm not renouncing the rights on. Kem Birch, I won't. I will. Won't. Um, um, Chance will renounce the rights on. Here's LeBert, I'm renouncing the rights on. I want to bring Zubot. I'm going to bring Zubots back. That's a nice deal. And, yes, we get Zubat, Suggs, and I can, I mean, I'll sign him, I'll, okay, we're going to sign Jalen Suggs, get him locked up, accidentally ran off the rights on him, and we get Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, no, not announcing the rights on you, or Gary Harris. 
That's player progression here. We get Britt Bridges and Wagner 87s along with Ben Carroll. Uh, Case and Wallace is at 81. He doesn't go up at all. That sucks. Vanderbilt uh, takes a confidence hit. Uh, Suggs is at 80. Lepowski at 80. Murray up to a 79. And uh, Mark Mitchell is a 74. Deadman regresses. I'm going to set Jalen Suggs to combo guard. Why not? Yeah, do that. And then... Be conditioning to somebody. Um, maybe I'll set... Um, set Paulo Bancaro to conditioning. And then... Free throw for the team. All right, here's our rotation here for season number four. 30 for Case and Wallace, 38 for Bridges, 38 to, to Wagner, 39 to Van Caro, 26 to Zubats, bench of Suggs, Vanderbilt, Filipowski, Chris Murray, and Chris Murray. Brandon Miller will come in if there's injuries. We got Javon Carter as a bench guard. Uh, Dwayne Dedman's our backup center. We got Mark Mitchell. And I signed Ricky Rubio to just be a another point guard for us. Maybe I send Preston Hines to the G League if we can. And then I'll set uh, Paulo Bencaro to be our number one scoring option. System proficiency is still three and a half star grit and grind. I'm going to stick with that. And then, yeah, I'm going to assign Preston Hines to the G League.